how do you mess up Borderlands? G genuinely, how do you mess up Borderlands, right? Borderlands is such an easy, like, property and franchise to adapt into film, right? But it, it, there, it is so easy. You take John Wick action scenes, you take Guardians of the Galaxy colorfulness, and then you take fucking quirky shit from the game, and then you put it all in there, and then there you go. Th that's it. That's it. That's all you have. That's all you need. You can literally... The way to make a Borderlands movie is to just fucking make a side quest from one of the games and make that a movie. Two hours long, action scenes... Then coming back to fucking Pandora, going to a bunch of different worlds and shit. That's it. But lo and behold, here we fucking are in the year 2024 where Borderlands is so hard to fucking adapt. I'm going to say, um, spoilers, throughout this entire fucking video, you shouldn't care about spoilers. This movie sucks. Don't see it. it 100%. Do not watch it. Right now, this shirt is more colorful and fun than the fucking movie. That's how bad it is. Let's start off from the beginning. Tiny Tina is a the daughter of a fucking of the Atlas CEO and she's friends with Krieg, which is not too far in away from the games. And I want to also mention I've played the games. I've played all of Borderlands 2 and all of its DLC. I played all of Borderlands 3 and all of its DLC. I played Tiny Tina. Uh, I still need to play Borderlands 1 and all of its DLC and all of no, the pre-sequel uh, when I get to it eventually. So, But I know about the Borderlands lore. I really like it. I fucking have... Uh, let's see. Hold on. I have over 100 hours in Borderlands 3 and over 100 hours in Borderlands 2. Uh, so... I think, I think I can, I have a little bit of authority when talking about this, right? It, it is so baffling to me that they changed so much of it, right? Gearbox, what the fuck are you doing? 2K, what the fuck are you doing? There is so many complaints I have about this movie. Genuinely so many. Like, oh, there's the cool little references. Oh, wow, there's Flint. And then there's, oh, there's Marcus. And then there's Moxie. And then there's, uh, all Claptrap, but he's voiced by fucking Jack Black instead of the actual voice actor. Despite the fact, fuck Jack Black for everything he's done in the recent months and years. Piece of shit that he is. Uh, it... <laughs> What's even crazier is that why couldn't they have just gotten the like the live action uh, models for these people like Lilith, right? We've seen Lilith. We've seen other people in live action from the games whenever they're communicating via uh, telepathy and shit. It, I want to also mention that throughout this entire movie, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Like, uh, no story except for, oh, maybe a vault. Oh, but I'm not a vault hunter. Oh, but we got the vault key. Oh, secret MacGuffin. Oh, it's nothing but a lot of talking, right? And I'm okay with talking movies. I love period pieces. I love, like, uh, high art movies where it's a lot about story and so on. But this isn't... Borderlands isn't one of those things where it's kind of like, like MCU. You mix story and fun together. Not to say that Borderlands doesn't have good story, but you play Borderlands because it's a looter shooter. It's fun. That's why. You don't go into it because it's like, high art, high storytelling masterpiece. It's kind of just cobbled together, but the gameplay is so fucking good that you keep coming back to it. 
that's why. I love Borderlands 3, despite how bad the story is. I, it, that story is all over the place, but I will still play through the entire story every single time, because one, I think Penn and Teller in that game is really fucking funny, uh, but also... I like grinding for the Doomslayer shotgun. I like doing a bunch of uh, side quests. I like all the looter shooter aspects and getting iridium and getting a bunch of new guns and other things like that and all the unique weapons and all the other elemental stuff, right? Guess what? In this movie, they switch weapons like twice. You know, the game franchise, which is about guns and how the guns are really cool and basically like magic, but they're guns. Uh, no. N not... They switch maybe a couple times. Despite the fact that they should be switching all of the fucking time. You pick up a new weapon in the game every five fucking minutes, and you use it, and then you pick up another one. That's how often you use different weapons. Even if you have all four weapons, you're constantly switching between them and using them. Nope. Lilith uses, like, the same fucking tri-shot pistol rotary cannon thing that I'm pretty sure is actually a... It's not a Jacobson. Uh, I'm, is it a... Hyperion, I think it is? Or, uh, no, it's a Torque, I think it is, the, the, the rotary thing. Uh, Roland, fucking Roland in this movie is so dumb. Kevin Hart really phoned it in this time. Uh, he, he's, again, he's wanted, but he's not even the leader of the Crimson Raiders or anything like that. Lilith is a fucking bounty hunter, despite the fact that the whole point of her character in all of the things, all of the games, is being a liberator and a freedom fighter. I don't know how you fuck it up that bad. Oh, and by the way, none of them use any special powers or special abilities until the final fight of the final, like, ten minutes where Lilith finally uses her siren powers and she gets the tattoo on her neck. <sighs> it sucks. <laughs> this entire movie sucks donkey balls, dude. It sucks eggs. It is so, so bad. It's baffling to me. Oh, Krieg, by the way, I went into this being like, Oh, but at least they'll do Krieg, right? No! They fucked Krieg up! How do you fuck Krieg up? He's a guy that yells meat cannon, meat wagon, all the fucking poop train. And they fucked him up! How do you... How the fuck do you do that? Look, I am okay with reinterpretations of characters. I am even a, a, a proponent of... Uh, of reinterpretations of characters. Taking a character and their personality and shifting it and putting them into a new thing, right? A lot of people talk about the new Joker movie and are like, at what point does it stop being Joker and does it become an OC? But the Joker's an archetype. So as long as there's the base idea behind it and the look, it's still Joker, right? So taking Roland in this movie, for instance, or Lilith, and then kind of twisting her personality around, but still it being Lilith, and then putting it into something new, that's fine, right? You could do that in a game, not the fucking introduction into the mainstream media and, and the theaters where you fuck everything up. You could literally, opening, this is how I would have done it, opening sequence, right? opening sequence they they explain all the iridium shit and everything like that and then they explain what happened from borderlands one to two and then have this movie take place between uh two and three and oh they explained the uh, pre prequel uh, pre sequel <laughs> pre prequel uh and then the events of one and then two all in the span of like three minutes right uh have it be really funny also the humor in this fucking movie sucks the, the uh, even in Borderlands 3, the humor was really funny. But in this movie, the humor tries to be Guardians of the Galaxy so bad, but it's it's not. They try and be colorful, but it's all muted colors with, like, the despite the fact that Lilith's hair is bright neon fucking orange. Uh, then you just, like, then you explain that, oh, yep, we're in a vault. We had, there's a vault nearby. 
uh, this is like a side quest or something like that. Side quest fucking plot line, right? Oh, a uh, person in Pandora, main town, needs you to do something. They'll pay you a lot to do it. Uh, there's even a huge stock of iridium. They go on, and then they reveal that it's actually a secret hidden vault on Pandora, too, because there's, uh, you could say that there's a hidden vault, or, like, a maybe, like, a hit, like, a mini vault or whatever, uh, despite the fact I'm pretty sure planets only have one vault per, um, or, like, it's, like, a treasure outcove thing, whatever, uh, and then it maybe leads into another planet, and then, like, they find hints on that planet, and then they go to another planet, uh, and then they go to, like, a brand new planet, uh, for the Borderlands lore, and then there's the vault in there, and then they have to fight a vault, uh, vault beast, and then at the very end, they open up all the chests, and, like, the loot shoots out, but then there's also a lore on the inside, and then, like, they're like, whoa, Luke's a cool guy, and, and then they come outside, and they're like, now you have to fight another vault beast, because the last one wasn't actually dead, it was just the baby, and then they use all their powers that you've seen throughout the movie, and like it's an all cool action shooting scene. That's how easy you could do it. Do, do it in there. You want to add in Guardians of the Galaxy shit? Okay, add in a bunch of pop music from the last twenty fucking years that are really popular, right? And that's it. That's all you have to do. That's how you make a Borderlands movie, and have it be successful. And how people, I I I remember whenever people used to like Borderlands. Because you, I see. I've been seeing a bunch of memes where people are like, "Oh, so it's soulless. Oh, so it's uh, accurate to the games." And at first, I was like, "Haha, that's funny." Because you know, the games are kind of like, eh, but the gameplay is really good. Uh, but it's, but it's just people fucking hating on the games, which I'm not even going to get into. But oh my god, I'm at a loss for words, dude. There is, it's so boring throughout so much of this movie to there's points to where nothing happens to where I literally just had to start skipping through the movie. Not too far because I wanted to at least get what was going on. But even after skipping through the movie or putting on two times speed or whatever, nothing fucking happens. Nothing happens whatsoever. <laughs> it's, it is ridiculous. It is so fucking stupid. I, I don't I don't get how even if the game director was on the fucking team whenever they were doing this it seems like he had no input but was getting a bag anyway and had to like speak its praises it, I don't know uh, complain with me down in the comments about how bad this movie is uh, if you want to support me uh, also pirate this movie don't fucking go spend your goddamn money on this uh uh, instead, send your money to me down in the description. There's a Patreon and a Cash App. Uh, this is certainly a movie of all time. I'll talk to you guys later. Click!